As mentioned on the title of this video, I'll say a few things that might help you fellow creatives if you're starting out or considering to do so. So let's get to it. First, failure is a part of the journey. I know I've been super harsh on myself every time I've failed at something and I don't know if it's age, experience or what it is but I've started to go easier on myself in regards to success and failure when it comes to art, design and creativity. Every step contributes to the development of your skills. My regret, I guess, is not doing this sooner. Second, stay true to yourself. I've been through a lot in my life and one thing that I've learned to keep and nurture more and more is to be myself. Some people will not like you no matter what you do and that is their thing. It doesn't have anything to do with you. On the other hand, some will simply click with you and what you bring to the table. Don't just stay silent always if you have your own point of view and criteria. Third, focus on what you actually want to be doing. We all need to pay the bills, certainly, but this, I would say, hits the hardest to me. I'm an illustrator, I know motion graphics, animation, and all sorts of 3D and post-production aspects of their creative field as well i believe being decent with creative ideation mind you that while i was spending all the time gaining those skills and abilities i sort of kept to the side my illustration and concept art practice a bit because these other skills besides illustration and concept art were more available where I'm from. I also had the pleasure of doing illustration work as well, but the most common projects were in these other skills I have. Even though I enjoy learning and working on all the projects that I've done and delivered over the years, I wish looking back that I would have kept my focus on the things I enjoy the most doing. The better you become at something, the more work you'll get from it. So I would be mindful of what you put most of your efforts into. Fourth, don't pay attention to haters and naysayers as much as you can. Their hate and negativity speaks way more about them than about you. Keep moving forward. All of these things took me time and hardship to learn, so hopefully they might save you some of that. But before I tell you the last thing on this list, if you haven't already, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you know when I post a new video. If you would like to help support this channel, there are links in the description to merch and my illustrated deck of cards. And last but not least, number five, trust yourself, trust your instincts, and trust your gut. No matter what others say or do, lean into trusting your instincts, they can be really accurate sometimes, and building your criteria and point of view always adds to your craft. I hope these things help you. If you watched the whole thing, thank you for being here. Until next time, bye.